conquered Egypt and took slaves back to Rome. They didn't make it their intent to make sure those slaves didn't know they came from Rome or to change whatever names they had so that they would have no remembrance or to make sure they couldn't sing the songs they sung in Greece or to make sure they couldn't play the drums they played in Greece or to make sure they couldn't dance the dance. Why was it so necessary in the transatlantic slavery to make sure that those who were taken had no knowledge of where they were taken from? Why was that so strategic? Was it accidental or was it strategic? It was to separate a family because our family divided is weak. We have spent years without a sense or a connection to our land, our language, our culture, and our family. My business partner is a Nigerian from Igbo. Every year they have fundraisers and events to support their ancestral land. They're in the U.S., but they still know where they are connected. They're still supporting it. I, my daughter did her DNA test. She was 60% Nigerian. My sister did her DNA test, she was 50% Nigerian. I'm a son of Nigeria, but I don't recognize the faith of my ancestral kin, and you don't recognize my face. How do we win against European domination and supremacy? <coughs> When you don't know me and my ancestors walk this land, and I don't know you. I may be a distant cousin, you don't know. We're not asking for a passport. That's certainly not what we want. What we are asking for is for a family that was severed, whose strength was broken. Who, were, who have been victimized on both ends of the Atlantic to reunite and to acknowledge that we are family. I don't want to come to Nigeria where my ancestors walked, sung and danced, and be told I am a tourist, or to be told I am an investor when my ancestral heritage is in this land, we simply want to be acknowledged as family. Because as family, we will be strong again. Because we, Africa, cannot ascend to its full potential without the African and the diaspora. And the African diaspora cannot reach its full potential without the African that remains. Yes, I could be president 
and serve the agenda of the U.S., how is that going to benefit you in Nigeria? I don't want to be the president of a country whose agenda is to forever keep Africa second. I don't feel it to be a significant advancement when my ancestry did not come from Europe or London or France. I want to help the growth and development of my ancestral land.